I'm Brad, and this is Liam, and we're on a journey to see if we can get all the way across the United States in 30 days, surviving off the kindness of strangers. That means all food, transportation, and shelter coming from people we've never met before, to show that even in this current state of division, there's still a lot of good in the world. Last episode, we ended up going to bed in a Walmart parking lot inside our new truck, Betsy. This is the first time not getting a place to stay so far on the trip. It was a bit of a bummer, but we still have seven more days to go, so we filled up Betsy thanks to the money from Rick and Paul. And then we got back on the road. Our goal today is to make it a four and a half hour drive all the way to Lubbock, Texas. You already know what it is. Waffle House, baby. It's Waffle House. Thank you. Oh my God. After buying breakfast and filling up gas one more time, we quickly realized how much more of a challenge money is going to be for the rest of the trip. But before we get into all that, I think it's best that we give our new truck a proper introduction. This is Betsy. Now, like any mature truck should, she's got some character flaws. The biggest being that she doesn't go in reverse. She got a dent in her side, pulls hard to the right, and it literally always says the gas is empty. But despite it all, she drives forward. Beautiful way to think about life, really. All right, so if we need to put the window down, we go like this and put it back up like this. <laughs> so we add one more thing to the broken car list. See, if we go for students, uh -huh. then we get a couch, most likely. If we go for adults, we have a little more likely chance of getting a bed tonight. I just want a shower. A shower would be great. A nice, warm, hot shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought Texas was supposed to be warm. I thought so too. <laughs> Can I ask you guys a, a really random question? My friend and I are hitchhiking across the country right now. <laughs> Break an ankle. Every night of the trip, we have to stay with a local. So we're wondering if you had like a couch or an extra bed or somewhere that two like Canadian guys can crash. Uh, no, man. No? I don't know, man. I'm in a studio. Yeah. <laughs> no. would love that. Man, I don't. I got an apartment. How, how about yourself? A couch? Oh, no, no. No, I, no. I don't. I don't think this will ever be fun. Will this part ever be enjoyable? Can I ask you guys a random question? Yeah, what's up? Yes, sir. We're hitchhiking across America, and we're basically... Where'd you start? We started in Boston, but every night of the trip, we have to stay with a local in whatever town that we're in. We're wondering. <laughs> Wait, you say please? Yeah. yeah. I've never had somebody say please. We got, got a couch. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yeah? Really? Yeah. For real? It's, it's gross. It's a, well, it, there's a cat on it. That's okay. That's okay. I mean, okay. We're going to a bar allergies. first, so. Yeah. So he just defended his thesis. Masters. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. So, that so sounds really important. Will you guys be willing to celebrate with us and then spend the night? Yes. Yeah, yeah of course. Absolutely. Okay, let's go. <laughs> After playing a few games, enjoying a cold beer, and trying a very questionable pizza with blackberry jam on it, we made our way back to Owen's house. Uh, shower in there. I'll grab some towels for you. Ah, dude, thank you so much. He's the one from uh, Eritrea. How long have you been here for? I came here for undergrad, and I'm just, I stayed here for law school, so almost coming on seven years now. And you, and you love it. Love it, love, love you love it. Oh, yeah, love it. There was something there. There was something there for sure. I, there's a yeah. There's like a take like a love it or leave it thing. <laughs> I can, I'm ready to leave. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should go with these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Got some room in the back. Yeah. 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 We got space in the back. We spent the night getting to know Owen and Sammy a bit more, and then went to bed early as we barely got any sleep last night in the truck. And when we woke up in the morning, Sammy sent us off with a gift. Yeah, I got forty bucks. You don't have to. No, no, it's. Yeah, get into trouble. We'll try. <laughs> yeah. Try Sammy came in like super clutch there, giving us forty dollars. Oh, oh, oh my God! Did Can we literally turn? run? We ran out of gas. I can't even turn. Oh. I literally can't. Oh no! <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I mean, ideal place to run the gas, so. <laughs> Literally at the gas station as we're pulling in. <laughs> Thanks to Sammy, we got enough gas to make it all the way to our destination of Fort Sumner. And on the drive, we decided to give a call to somebody you guys might remember. Uncle Wade. <laughs> What's 
<laughs> How's it going? Where the hell are we Oh, guess what? Are you ready for this? You don't got a car? Somebody <laughs> gave us their truck. Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of truck is it? It's a 2003 Ford F-150. Yeah, but it's, it's... <laughs> After catching up with Uncle Wade, we made it to Fort Sumner. Our goal now is to find somebody with a farm that we could stay with, to hopefully learn about the American ranch culture. And as we were driving through the town, we spotted somebody with a trailer at a mechanic shop, so we stopped and asked the people there. How's it going? Can we ask you guys a quick question? We're hitchhiking across America right now. We basically are surviving off the kindness of strangers, and uh, every night of the trip we have to find like a local that we can stay with that night. And we're trying to base one of the goals we had for the trip is finding like a, a, a ranch or like a farm that we could potentially stay on. I'm wondering if you guys know of anybody who would be open for that. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a weird question, eh? No, it's a question you don't get every day. Yeah, yeah. Are you looking to stay in a house, or you got tents you're staying in, or what? Ideally, like, yeah, we, we stay like in, in, in the house. Well. well, these guys clearly were not too interested, so we left. But as we were trying to figure out what our next plan was, one of the guys came to talk some more. You guys don't find a place and call me. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, that'd be oh, great. Just that'd, be backup. that'd be awesome. What was your name? Tim. 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 I'm Brad. Brad. Nice to meet you. I'm Liam. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll send you a message. Uh, we're very thankful. Are for you the there offer. already? Okay, I'll be right there. I stopped at stands. I'll be right there. Awesome. If you can't find me, let me know. With a backup set in place, we went out to start talking to the locals to hopefully find ourselves a ranch. We started by talking to the local cowboys, and when we couldn't find any more of them, we started knocking on doors. But no matter where we went or who we talked to, it didn't seem like we were going to find a place to stay. So. All right, Tim, what's the plan? Do you want to go the scenic route or straight out there? How far is the scenic route? Uh, uh, nine miles. Nine miles? Okay. okay. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, I don't have a TV. That's okay. We're well, night, so we don't do TV. That's TV. all good. Okay. We're just, yeah, yeah. we're just ready to hang out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I'm so <laughs> confused. What is this house going to be like? He's got such an intriguing personality. What yeah. would you do if we got to Tim's and it was tarp and tied to a tree? Uh, and like a lawn chair. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. This is getting more and more sketchy. Can we do some research into Mennonite culture? Like, do they do sacrifices and all that jazz? Okay, where the f <laughs> Where are we going? Dude, this literally looks straight out of, like, Saw. Or the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Also, can't reverse out here. Dude. <laughs> Alright, this is the humble abode, eh? Well, I do things a little bit different for most people. Yeah. And I'm poor, so it is what it is. No, no, all good. We're just having to have a roof. Shoes off here? No. Okay. Huge kitchen. Is that a parish? Actually, you know what? Let me, I'm going to let my dogs out here just for a minute. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Don't pick up that little dog, Okay. <laughs> now then, you ready for this? There's a, a lot of interesting things. I mean, you probably don't know what that is, do you? That is a glass bottle. <laughs> no, it's a float. They used them on crabs and stuff. When I was a kid, you used to find these in the ocean in Oregon. That's what they were. Yeah. What about that? You know what that is? That's a candle. It's um, a vaporizer. That, I don't know if you know what that is. You know what that is right there? You know what this is right here? Dude, I really hope at some point I know what one of these things is when he asks me a question. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's for, for, for wheat. A scythe? Is it a scythe? This, this is a crock pot. Have you ever seen an Indian head nickel? No. Do you see what you're setting on? No. That's 130 years old. I feel like I should not be sitting on that. That's one. what it's for, to sit on. Okay. So anyway, let's go this way. We haven't finished over here yet. So you kind of like a, like a collector of, like it's just something like a hobby to, to collect all this stuff? Gets me in trouble all the time. Yeah. Gets you in trouble? Yeah. With Ben and I. Why, why are you not allowed to collect? Pride. Things. Pride? Okay, I'm pride in this. Oh. Oh. That's really? It. Yeah, you know what that is. Thank you for showing us all yeah. this stuff. We know. We got all night. <laughs>
Is this the first time you've ever done this? Invite strangers into their house? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, probably. Well, I'm trying to think. Uh, and so, why did you end up saying yes? Do you really want to know? Yeah. I don't know what I tell you. Uh, I'm alone. I don't like being alone. It's just neat, you know, to have somebody around here. Yeah. I'm not used to it, you know. Uh, yeah. My wife died, you know, about eight years ago. After the Grand House tour was finished, we were really curious to hear more about Tim's story. So, we sat down with him and asked him what it was like to be a Mennonite. I came to the church in 2000. I was very conservative when I came. I was too conservative for where I'm going to church now. Mm. And what does that mean? Well, I was horse and buggy. Oh, yeah. You know, our, the group I'm with now, they drive cars. and Well, they believe that, uh, you know, during, during Jesus' time, everything wasn't just written in stone, you know. We believe in the leading of the Spirit. If the Spirit leads in that direction, we believe we ought to do it. So there, we don't. We didn't get stuck with horse and buggies. We, you know, we went to cars and you know good things. We don't watch TV, no radio, no photographs. Music. We listen to our music, a cappella music. Yeah, I've got it. We're not supposed to record it either, but. Do you enjoy listening to this? Yeah. Have you listened to any other music from other parts of America? Oh, you shouldn't ask me that. No? Oh, yeah. I used to collect, you know, I collect things. I used to collect music. Yeah. What's the reason for not, not watching TV or, or consuming? Music? Most people, you don't have to explain to them why you shouldn't watch TV because everybody knows. Do you think that there's good parts? Like you could use TV for good? There's nothing wrong with the TV. Mm hmm just with all of it. We used to not be able to have an internet, but now it's got to the point that you can't hardly do business or anything without the internet. So they're allowing certain internets. It's gotta be filtered. This phone right here? Yeah. It's got a filter on it. Yeah, and I'm not supposed to have those photographs either. I gotta get rid of those. I was gonna give them to the grandchildren. Mm. Do you think you'd be yeah. willing to give up all this stuff for the church and everything? And The church has authority over the earth because God gave them the keys. So if I'm not right with the church, then I'm in trouble. That's the, the problem I got to deal with. I appreciate you sharing, like, and just yeah, giving us some new perspectives and stuff. Well, it's the thing, you know, it, it doesn't matter what you believe or I believe. You know, God's real, and uh, we're all going to have to face it. We're all going to face death someday, you know, and where do you want to spend eternity? Do you want to, you know, go to hell or do you want to go to heaven? I mean, it, it's going to happen. So I don't know, you guys probably get some rest. Yeah, get some sleep and be good. Yeah, sleep Did you want to unfold this or just sleep on it that way? In the morning, we were woken up with the glorious smell of pancakes and bacon. We shared a quick breakfast with Tim, and then we said our goodbyes. Thank <laughs> you, Yeah. God bless you, guys. Take thank care you. of yourself. Yes, thank you so be much. Good. The plan today was to make up a bunch of distance so that we could stay on track of completing the trip in 30 days. But there was a new, very large obstacle standing in the way of that. I guess kind of the, the challenge now is usually when we got money, it lasted a lot longer. Yeah. Like we would have 50 bucks and that would last us maybe two days for food. Now that 50 bucks is instantly gone within half a day of driving. Yeah, it's now just money asking. Which is the part that we hate the most. Yeah. Almost there, baby. Can I ask you a quick question? Are we trekking all the way across the states? And somebody gave us that truck three, four, five days ago. And our new challenge is trying to get gas money to fill it up. So we're wondering if there's any way you can help us get closer to a the full tank. Yeah, I don't think so. All okay, good. All okay. good. Have a good day. I gave you ten dollars. That's all I have. That's all good. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me come back. Okay, thank you thank so you. much. All the cash thank I got. You. No, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Gas station number two. Can we ask you a quick question, sir? No. Oh, fair enough. Cool. No. Okay. All good. Thank you so much. I Couple can't. Bucks. Can't right now. Yeah. Um, fair enough. I don't know, missing that human connection element for me, where I like the rides, the hitchhiking, because it's you get picked up by somebody here in the car for a couple hours and you get to hear their story, you get to connect with them. And uh, this, or just asking for money from people, is not really a fulfilling part of this part of the journey. All right, we've made it to Albuquerque. Now we need to get more gas. Sick. Thank you so much, man. God Thank bless you, man. Okay, we got $10 more. Gas station. Wondering if there's any chance that you have like five bucks to help us get a little bit more gas. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Thank you very Take much. Care, guys, right? Thank you. You put in 20 bucks? I put in 20 bucks. Oh my god, dude. That was super nice of him. He gave us 20 bucks for gas there, and I wasn't expecting that at all. Yeah, super nice dude. Oh, what the f 
Oh my god. Dude, literally. Oh my god. Okay, I'm a little bit more jumpy when I'm tired, all right? And we needed to find a place to stay for the night. So we went to a local bar where we met Dakota. We said that she would ask her mom if we could stay at her place. Yeah. Can you hear me? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How are you? Hi. So we're allowed to come and crash at your house today? Yeah, I guess. I mean, Dakota already talked to me about it, and I was like, fine. Yeah? Okay, yeah. okay we'll, we'll, we'll see you at home. Okay. Okay, bye, Mom. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Okay, couch, bed. That is incredible. Okay. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you guys can come in. The restrooms are right here. I don't know if you guys have extra towels or washcloths or whatever. Oh, she's got some sanitizer. Oh, she's got some sanitizer. Oh, my goodness. Bed blankets. Thank you so much yeah. for this. This is awesome. What's up? Nice to meet you. Oh. I'm falling. You're falling? I'm 27. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm going to say whenever I meet people. Oh, yeah. I'm 27. <laughs> I can't do it, Dad. Let's see. Oh. Whoa. Where'd you learn that? Can you try it? Home sweet home. Home sweet home. Dude, this is a great little setup here. Yeah. That one's got some tape on it. Why? Food? <laughs> Thank you so much for cooking yeah. us breakfast. Nicoba, come and eat, babe. What, what is it like living on the reservation? It's, it's something that we've it's never. It's where you're at. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like my mom and my dad. My dad died when I was nine. My mom was in and out of home. She kind of did her own thing, went wherever she wanted to do, and then really took care of it. She had six kids, so I would be the one that kind of more responsible for all the little kids and having to cook for them. And so because we didn't have electricity growing up when we were about that age, we used to just basically read a lot, take walks, and do stuff other than whatever. So yeah. just to keep out, out of boredom. Because I came from shit, you know? And I didn't get into all the drugs and all the, the drinking and all of that stuff at a very young age and everything. And, and that's when you kind of start thinking about things. You start looking around and you start looking at the things that people are doing and you kind of just start recognizing like, I'm never gonna be like that. I don't wanna be like that, you know? I feel like growing up in an environment like that, it's easy for a lot of um, the kids to kind of like get sucked into that same- Oh um, yeah. Same I stuff, like how, how, did you, how did you break out? Like what was different for you? Some of those certain people that, they're like, oh, woe was me. You know, mm -hmm. like everything is my fault. Everything, nobody's helping me, nobody, nobody's doing this. And I'm not saying like people don't need help. People do need help. But there are some people out there that take it to, to the max. Yeah. They don't take responsibility for anything that they did in their life. They don't take responsibility mm. for the stuff that they're doing now. Yeah. And they don't take responsibility for the people that they bring into this world. That's what I try to teach my children. Because everybody for themselves, whether it's good or bad, has that choice to make their lives better. It may not be the best choice that you have, you know, best choice that you want or something that you do want, but it's still a choice. And it's because of where you're at at certain times in your life takes you to that location. That's why you always try to make the best positive choice that anything around your life. Like you may see people out there doing drugs or somebody doing something. That's their decision to do all that stuff. You cannot help people that are not willing to help themselves. That's that's how I see it. Well, we appreciate everything. Um, yeah, no problem. You've done, you've done for us. Thank you so yeah, much for just no problem. having us. Yeah. We really appreciate it. No problem. Leah, Thank you again. Bye. You guys, bye. Yeah. <laughs> Try to go to ATM and come back. Yeah, you want to? Hello. Hey, hey uh, we just wanted to come back really quickly because we had 500 bucks that so we just wanted to come oh, back. Oh, you don't have to do that. No, no, seriously, seriously. Like, this is just a way of us giving back. Like, people have been giving us money. They've been, they, somebody gave us a truck. Oh, but you guys might need it on the way back. No, 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 it's okay. We, like, we can't just survive solely on the kindness of strangers and just like, because we, like, we're in a position where we don't need to. So we want to be able to give back while we're doing this trip as well. That would help me out a lot. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Thank you. No problem. Thank you, guys. Thank you for everything. Back on the road again, we were excited to finally make it to one of the number one destinations of every great American road trip, the Grand Canyon. The only problem is we don't have any money. So we were going to have to give our pitch a try at the gate. Yeah, so unfortunately, yeah, there's no way to get in without paying. Um, sorry okay. about that. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Thanks. <clears throat> so, we might have to just skip the Grand Canyon. Or, we park down there. Try and hitchhike hitch ride yeah. to the Grand Canyon. That's fine. Holy shit! 
We got a test. How are you? Thank you. Millions of years of natural history right in front of our eyes. But sadly, we had something else on our minds at that moment. Pretty cool. Yep. Should we get back to town and find a place to sleep? Yeah. Dude, what the? Who is that? It's going really fast. We asked around in Flagstaff for a bit, and kindly got given a free plate of nachos. And eventually, we found two ladies who we shared a beer with, and then one of them set us up with an air mattress in their storage closet for the night. We were pretty eager to get to sleep, because we knew that the next day we were meeting up with some friends we met earlier in Texas for the last leg of the trip. And it was going to be a fun time. Next episode on Discover Connection. Whoa, 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 whoa! Look at where we're at right now. <laughs> Holy shit. We do not belong here now. Dude, dude. Oh. Hey, we don't hey. around, cowboy. Better <laughs> <Minimum. laughs>